Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS F16C Viper video, we'll discuss the use of mark points in the Viper. A mark point is a location that can be designated through the HUD, the HEMIX, the radar, or targeting pod, and stores the location in steer points 26 to 30. This is useful for returning to targets and later sharing over the data link between flight members. Let's get started. Okay, so let's do some use cases of dropping mark points through the radar, through the targeting pod, and through the HUD. So right now we're heading into western Iraq at steer point one, which is H3 Northwest Airfield. Let's go to air to ground mode and set it to uh, CCRP. And the first mark we're going to drop is by the radar. And we're going to want to build a nice uh, devious picture. So I need to do an offset first. About 30 degrees should be fine. In the meantime, let's uh, drop the gain a little bit. Manual ranging down to 40. And I'll be looking at my uh, offset up here by the port side cross. Okay, rolling out. And zoom in and start drilling down. So, expand mode. DBS1 and DBS2. Starting to see the airfield. Got a 20 range. Ten. And let's bring our azimuth down to just 10 degrees. Much faster update. And we can play around with the gain. That looks pretty good. So we can see on the near side a parking ramp, which yeah, it looks like there's three aircraft on it. Let's slew the cursor onto that. Release. And now go target management switch forward or TMS or TMS. And that drops the fixed target track or FTT. And that's going to be location for our first mark point. So we'll go here back to the ICP. Button seven, mark. Let me see, mark is FCR because that is our soy. And it's gonna drop the mark point on steer point 26. To drop the mark, we'll go forward on the TMS switch. And now we can see the lat long, elevation, and mercs. Let's see an eye out. And we'll take a look at it on the uh, targeting pod. So, TGP. Let's just our picture a bit. Soy. And now, back in the ICP, we'll go to steer point page number four. And as you recall, we set that mark point to steer point 26. So type in 26 and enter. But let me pause it for a second. The cursor is looking here, but I told the radar to look here. And why is that off? And that's because of the offset error. And the previous waypoint I had slewed off it. And unless you cancel that uh, offset slew off, it'll carry over to the next steer point, which is what happened here. So all I need to do to correct that is hit cursor zero, and it went right back to where it should be. So I'm pause. So while we're here, let's talk about dropping a mark point through a targeting pod. Let's move it down here to these halves. Set a point track. CNI out, mark point. Now you can see the mark is TGP because that is our soy. I'm gonna go team is forward. And that drops that mark point here at steer point 27. That cursor out. CNI, back to steer point, 27. Enter, went right back to the hab. Okay, back to SMIZ, CCIP. Now let's talk about uh, doing a mark point through the HUD. First, want to make sure that the HUD is our sensor of interest, so I indicated by the mark here. CNI out, go to mark. Take off to autopilot.
So initially, the mark cursor is co-aligned with the flight path marker. But by using the radar cursor sluice switch, we can move it off in any direction we want. And if we leave it, we'll see that it's actually space stabilized. If we move it to a location we want, We can then hit forward on the TEMA switch to ground stabilize. And once it's ground stabilized, it's a bit more easy to move and uh, ground stabilize for accuracy. Finally, we hit TEMA's forward one more time and now it drops that mark point. Now, as, as you can see here, at steer point 28. We go to the targeting pod. CNI, steer point 28, enter clear and there it is so folks i hope you enjoyed this uh, video on mark points and i will see you next time thanks